What is going on people? It's your boy here with another uh, set 10 video. This time we're going to be looking at Jessmon versus Blue Flare. So my buddy on the left is going to start off with Jessmon Solarmon plus a CL. Not the best opening, but I'm going to be fishing for pieces as well with the blue memory boost into the Gaussmon here on top of my Upa. Um, and then just going to pass it off to my opponent, putting him at three. So definitely a slow start uh, for both of us, not the most ideal hands. But hey, sometimes those games are the most fun, just um, when both players don't really draw ideal, and then you get a really interesting uh, board state. So Hagurumon, or rather Solarmon, is going to swing into the Siako there. And then we're going to see Chimera Digivolve for a cost of four, uh, putting me to one, and then putting the Solarmon back underneath, basically just to make the Chimeramon a red card during my opponent's turn. Uh, Gaussmon is going to hit the Huck in security, triggering uh, the on deletion to be able to play a Decadramon from the hand, drawing one and then drawing one for each of my opponent's Digimon, so a plus two off of that interaction. I really, really like Decadramon. Uh, the only downside is really he's a five cost, but of course mitigating that by using the Gaussmon inherited, or Gaussmon on deletion is really, really powerful. Rattlestar is then going to hit the board, uh, bouncing the Chimeramon to the hand, uh, getting rid of any chance my opponent has to go into Jessmon the following turn. So we're going to be back at square one with a Huck and Breeding, uh, plus the Sistermon Blanc on play will discard one to draw two cards putting me to one, and then I'm going to Digivolve the Jellymon. Spicy Tech in the back there, basically, uh, just a level three that lets you draw whenever you play your Kiriha from your hand, uh, getting you an extra plus one, and the Inherited sometimes does come up, being able to bounce level threes. Our Dekadramon is going to swing into um, the Genku there in security, and then just going to uh, Digivolve another Dekadramon on top of the Jelly there for a cost of two, just trying to cycle cards. So definitely not the most ideal hand, uh, then we're just going to Digivolve the Bauhuck and then pass it over, putting me to one. Dekadramon is going to come out, of course, with the save ability. Not going to be live since I don't have a Tamer in play, but we're going to swing anyways. Draw a card, and then Jellymon uh, does indeed bounce the uh, Sistermon Blanc back to hand, hitting a Huck in security, surviving there. Definitely getting good value off of that effect. And then Male Bergemon is going to hit the board. Uh, it does have an on play to play Kiriha if you've got one in play, or if you don't have one in play, so I'm going to play that. I think since Male Bergemon was a 5 cost and I was debating, well, I could play Male Bird for 5 and put a Kiriha on the board anyways, or just play Kiriha by himself for 4. I don't think there's too big a difference between putting my opponent uh, to four, 4 versus 3 in this scenario, especially uh, since he's going to go save your Huck to play the Blanc that we bounced earlier for free, being able to discard 1 and draw 2 is really, really powerful, just letting you cycle through your deck and seeing the specific pieces that you need to see. Now we're going to see Jessmon, uh, Star Deck Jessmon hit the board, of course got the one Digivolving Blitz effect. Um, but, and then we're going to be able to unsuspend with the Savior Huck, reveal five, adding all sisters off of the inherited effect from the Huckmon, drawing a card, of course, off the Sistermon Blanc. And then I believe we also got a Gurimon draw uh, there as well. Going to be able to run over my um, the uh, Deckardramon there, but uh, no piercing. Uh, piercing comes from the X antibody Jessmon did not have that uh, in play right now So at the very least we're not going to lose two of our security cards. Uh, I am sitting at three memory of course uh, Definitely not in the best position now that my opponent has an established Jessmon realistically uh, This deck doesn't have too many ways to get rid of your opponent's big boss monster We can free stuff so we're going to go metal Greymon for three being able to play the male bird plus Greymon uh, So the Greymon metal Greymon will be able to freeze the two sister mon since it's got uh, since they've got less materials in it and then the male bird will be able to freeze the Jessmon since it just um, since we got blue flare in the trace as well as our opponents got two or more uh, Digimon in play. But unfortunately, that first swing is just going to be uh, too big for us. So Metal Greymon is going to die, putting the materials underneath the Kiriha. Kiriha uh, saving those materials, and then Decadramon is going to come down here for a total of four draws, putting our opponent. Uh, to a large amount of memory, but with uh, three of the Digimon on field frozen, uh, those Sistermons are definitely not going to do anything. And then the Jessmon, uh, Jessmon's little gimmick is really attacking. So even if he goes into something like a GX, we won't see the Blitz hit uh, hit the board. We won't see multiple security checks. So um, I'm totally fine putting my opponent a large amount of memory, especially considering I got four draws. So it is very likely that I'll be able to close out uh, the game next turn. Freezing uh, is such a powerful ability, being able to just... Um, put down all my opponent's uh, Digimon on lockdown and just 
ensure that I really won't be able to um, lose any security or anything like that during this turn. Uh, he's going to build up a little bit in the back with the Huckmon. X antibody is going to hit the field. Of course, it does allow you to then play a Sistermon from your, I believe it's from Hand or Trash. I know most of them do Hand or Trash, but some of them are like exclusively Hand. Uh, CL is going to hit the board, gaining that memory since it was played. And then Jessmon GX is going to be Digivolve 4-5. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the effect to put um, a Royal Knight underneath it. So most likely it's going to be Genku X. That's pretty much the main combo you do uh, end up doing is going to stick a Genkumon uh, from the trash there most likely underneath it in order to trigger its one Digivolving ability which is then playing a Sistermon, another Sistermon and then I think it also blankets your field with plus 2000 and can't be uh, DP reduced or bounced or something. I know it protects in some some form. Uh, the cards will be on screen, but um, it does protect a lot. Uh, the real cool combo is then we're going to use double CL to go into Chimeramon, Joe Grissing, uh, putting the Savior underneath, and then of course Chimeramon will be able to attack immediately uh, just because um, we've got the uh, Joe Griss effect, and then being able to then attack unsuspended Digimon is really crazy, of course, due to the uh, Jessmon X there. Uh, now we're going to play the uh, uh, Solarmon once again, and looking at an absolutely ridiculous board here, uh, the GX is also a blocker, I do believe, um, from the Genku, maybe? Uh, it, it, does, it has blocker, um, and so we're f facing down two Sistermons, a Jessmon, as well as a Solarmon, not allowing us to reduce the play cost for the Digicross. So um, Digicrossing Metal Greymon is really nice, because you usually play him for three, as opposed to seven, which is his usual cost. Um, but that's okay, because we're just going to go blue memory boost, uh, revealing a Gaussmon, evolving that, um, and then pot potentially being able to do something here, but we do have to face down six Digimon. We are just going to Ice Wall, putting our opponent to one, <laughs> therefore guaranteeing you won't be able to close out lethal. I feel really bad because our opponent doesn't have a memory tamer or anything. There's really no counterplay to Ice Wall. There's essentially no reason I should have won this game, um, or rather my opponent shouldn't have won at this moment, just because, like, look at his board. I don't have any answers. Don't have Death Axe. Don't have any sort of um, counterplay like that. Just have a singular one-cost option that essentially prevents my opponent from closing out the game. You could definitely attack with the GX here. Uh, GX does gain a second attack plus one for each Royal Knight in its uh, Digivolution sources, so I believe it has Genku plus the Jessmon plus the Jessmon X, so it's swinging for four checks. Um, so it could definitely take out all of my security, but he won't be able to close out the game without any sort of memory game. If he has a way to play a CL here, he could also go to two to essentially get two attacks in being able to close out the game, but I don't think there's a way to go into CL without paying any memory. Um, if you had a Jessmon here, you could go Jessmon X for zero and then play a CL, but it doesn't have one um, at the moment. So it looks like we are not going to be able to do too much. Except for passing turn here with another Blanc to draw a card, putting another blocker on field. So we've got uh, three Sistermons that can all block uh, during uh, my turn. So I'm going to move out the Gaussmon. I am sitting at three, of course, because of my Kiriha. Can go to five with the memory boost. Uh, luckily, my opponent isn't playing any sort of memory floodgate. I don't think Red had one, has one, actually, now that I think about it. But regardless, we are going to pop the blue memory boost, going on to up to five, and then I'm going to use the double hammer sparks to go up to seven to get around the solar mon there. Hard digi crossing for seven. I can still put the materials underneath, but they won't reduce the play cost. Of course, being able to use the materials from underneath Kiriha. So Metal Gray Mon does gain rush. We're going to swing Metal Gray on a, a play. will freeze the sister mons. On swing, we'll freeze the Jess mon. Um, so no blocks for my opponent. We're just going to swing uh, for game there with the unsuspend from the Greymon. So really, really powerful stuff. For game number two, our opponent is going to start with the Huckmon uh, in the back and then Digivolving into the Bow Huck 4-2. So off to a pretty strong start. That's pretty much what you want to see, either like a Huckmon uh, line or maybe like Red Memory Boost or a Disciple Student. Uh, those sort of consistency cards just to set up uh, early on. Jellymon is going to be evolved into the Upamon, and I'm going to once again uh, pass seemingly terrible hands here, um, yet somehow I was able to close it out last game. Uh, we are going to see the Bow Huckmon swing for the draw and then into the Metal Greymon, unfortunately, and then Blanc is going to be played for another draw. CL is going to be played for effectively three costs, playing 
game for four and then uh, gaining that memory on a play uh, off of her effect. Uh, once again, Male Bird is going to be played playing the Kiriha and then triggering the Jellymon effect to uh, gain that extra draw when you do play a uh, Blue Tamer. So really nice stuff. And then I'll be able to get another draw to hopefully get me out of this uh, bricky situation with the Upamon the following turn. If it doesn't die, uh, once again, we're going to see Chimeramon, uh, seemingly uh, one of the staple cards in this deck, but I actually do think he was only playing one. Uh, sticking a red card underneath there, the Savior I or the um, Bowhawk, I do believe. Uh, getting rid of the jelly for the minus uh, 2000 and then putting me uh two three not much i can really do here except evolve a uh, dragmon in the back dracomon and then uh, digivolving the metal graymon actually for a cost of three just swinging into uh, security there uh, being able to freeze off of the male bergemon since we do have the inherited effect and then playing the gaussmon for a cost of three to potentially spit out a level for the following turn our opponent is at three. Uh, Sister Mont Blanc is going to swing, uh, running into the Gasmon, but of course it's only 1,000 DP, so not going to die there. Uh, and then uh, we are going to, after that, just see a Genkumon X Digivolve for a cost of four. Genkumon X will then allow you to play a uh, Sister Mont from hand, so CL is going to come down. Um, nothing going to be uh, happening there. I do believe it's a blocker, uh, but we are going to move on up uh, with the Dracomon. Metal Greymon can definitely freeze the Genku, uh, being able to swing on the male bird. Uh, effectively, that Tommy effect, but just not requiring your opponent's Digimon to have no materials, which is just really broken. And we are going to swing Dracomon into security. Uh, Upamon will give us the plus one draw, of course, two blockers on field. Um, just going to switch that to the Genkumon rather. So Genkumon is going to block, which is definitely uh, the correct play because uh, my opponent uh, will basically ha lose the blocking ability from Genkumon. If I swing the Metal Gray, I'll just freeze it. Uh, so I am going to swing with the Metal Gray, uh, freezing the uh, Ginkumon regardless just to prevent it from attacking and then the ECL is going to be able to um, block that attack. Male Bergamon is going to be Digivolved just to be able to swing over the Blanc here uh, having to use a Hammer Spark to clear that. Um, losing one Hammer Spark is fine. Um, definitely play more than uh, just one. So holding those until the end of the game is definitely ideal uh, as you guys saw in the last game, but that's okay. I'm going to just play the Siakomon to pass my opponent 2-3. So a little bit of an awkward stack. Um, Chimera plus the Genku. Genku basically after you evolve him doesn't really do too much. You can definitely still evolve a GX over him, uh, but we are just going to move out. Huckmon is going to swing. Uh, Gurimon is not going to draw since we're not over 6,000, but hitting another Gaussmon in security, uh, surviving that is pretty nice. And then the Huckmon is going to hit the board, grabbing a Bow Huck plus a Blanc there from the uh, top check five. Uh, going down to zero. Of course, the, the Genku is. Uh, frozen here, so potentially we could go into something like a Jessmon GX, but realistically our opponent probably needs to just um, give up on that idea of building up another stack because I don't think he has enough time with me having three Digimon in play, potentially Digicrossing the next turn. He's facing down quite the number of Digimon, and I will, of course, be able to freeze a block every single turn with the Metal Greymon. So going wide definitely does play into the Metal Greymon. We're just going to see Sister Mon Blanc play for a cost of three. I'm going to go ahead and Digivolve the Jellymon in the back, and then probably just start swinging. Uh, hopefully I've got something like a Decker Greymon in hand, because that would be really nice, being able to freeze another thing. So Metal Grey is just going to swing into the Huckmon, uh, freezing the Genku, and then Metal Grey number two, uh, Digivolving once again, is just going to swing uh, security and then freezing uh, the Blanc, I do believe. So we've got uh, basically no attacker blocks from them until the end of the turn, and then just going to play the blue Memory Boost, putting my opponent to three. So freezing against the Jessmon deck is just so powerful, being able to prevent their big stacks from attacking, preventing their little guys from blocking, just basically gives me free reign to do pretty much whatever I want to do. Uh, so our opponent is going to digivolve uh, the Huck in the back uh, here, and not much else he can do. I don't think he's facing down lethal next turn. I will still be able to block two things if he does uh, let my Metal Gray survive, but realistically, I don't think there's any way he can out them aside from attacking, which of course he can't do. So we're just going to see uh, Bow Huck digivolve for two. Uh, and then Savior, a uh, Digivolving for three. Unsuspending all my guys, four Digimon out in play, gonna swing, uh, freezing one of the blockers, and then he's going to block with the other one. So freezing the Genku, blocking with the Blanc, and then we're gonna swing, freezing the Huckmon, swinging into security, hitting that uh, option card. Uh, does have a security effect, I do believe. Revealing top three, and then Jellymon's gonna swing. 
uh, swinging into the security there. Shyokamon is going to swing. And then lastly, we're just going to finish things off with a Kumamon. So guys, that is going to be the game. Blue Flare taking this 1-2-0. If you did enjoy, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll probably have the Blue Flare uh, deck list in the comments uh, the description as well. But thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.